Alright now. Hey wait. So we're here at the Bird's Nest Cafe in LA and we're gonna go get some brunch. Because it's like lunchtime already anyways. Hi wait. <laughs> Look at this. Alrighty, so we got our drinks and we got our food. Oh, what did we order? Can you show please? Uh the other way. So I got apparently they have Taco Tuesday. Babe got the Libero, we got an ice matcha, and a hot latte bloom regular. Ew, let's enjoy. Look how cute is the statement piece, you guys. Can you see it? Chew! Imagine? How cute is that? Ooh, that looks good. Oh, I wish I would have had avocado. Let's do this. Just what it comes with. Literally, it's just... It looks sad, to be honest. Hold on, let me add the stuff. It looks really sad. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Mm. Mm. I think their breakfast is better though. Let me see. There's no more meat, right? No more meat. Nope. Mm. Como que le falta? I feel like I feel like that. It's just like super plain Jane. See, look. This is a taco. The cheese is like literally right there. And like on this one, you can tell the pico de gallo is just there. You can't even really see the cheese. Look, it's just like a little bit. Like, look at that. I don't know. I feel like it's lacking more flavor to begin with. Like, it needs either like, I don't know. It's just, it's lacking flavor. Honestly, you know what would be good on this one? The avocado creamy thing machine. I think it will make this a lot better with the aioli. <laughs> the tortillas are handmade. No, they're flour. Okay. So he ordered hush brown. I don't want it to fall over. If it does, oh well. It's not that great anyways. You guys, see that? He ordered hush browns. And, um, let me just say, not even ketchup would save this. I would give your food, like, a... If we're rating a 10 out of, like... Yeah. Our rate is for 10. I'll give it probably, like, a 4. Same. 4, 4, 4.5. It looks good, but does not taste good. The taco, on the other hand... What do you think so far? Something's missing. Right? Something is missing. Like, it's supposed to have cheese, but you can't really taste the cheese at all, like, in the tacos. I taste the tortilla more. Yes, more than, than anything. Meat. But when you first initially bite it, did you, like, feel that juice in your mouth? Mm-hmm. And then it's gone. The juice is good. Like, whatever that juice is, it's, it's good. But then when you bite it, it's kind of like, where the hell is the flavor at? overall i think that this place can improve on their lunch their lunch was okay but i would say that their breakfast when we came here like probably a year or half ago was delicious so definitely i think i will stick to the breakfast many more of like their pastries or desserts more than their lunch because honestly like the tacos were better than what babe got honestly like that lumber thing needs flavor or whatever is but mines were a little bit more better i would say and again they do have some vegetarian options here so overall i would probably give it like a five out of ten score to be honest because i mean the price was there the drinks are pretty good um the taco again something's missing onto it and the lumberjack was just missing flavor on to the next place so here we are at la prime cafe this is one of my favorite cafes it is on the top of the list I finally brought Babe over to show him what's the 411 on the food. Unfortunately, I did not take any pictures, but here is selfies of me and past me that I've gone and ate their food. I absolutely love their sweets, their savories, their salads, their sandwiches. Like, I've gone above and beyond on their menu. And I absolutely love it. I hope you guys try it if you guys are in the LA area. And now on to shopping. Now we are on our way here. I believe it's in Lakewood, Downey somewhere in that area we're on our way here to go buy some few stuff um honestly it's been a mellow mellow month and we're looking for some ideas you know we gotta get that creativeness you guys there was something wrong with the sky literally like there was a full-on division if you guys could tell like the mountains and the sky were not the same color i don't know what was going on as we approach you know we're here at 
I believe it's Macy's and we're just shopping around. We're looking around. What's a 411 up in here? You know, a lot of the stores are having a massive, massive discount. So if you guys have money and want to go out shopping and buy a Valentine's gift, literally, you guys, there was so much that was on sale. I was kind of mind blown in this case. So definitely go to your local Macy's and look what there is in jewelry. A lot of the jewelry was literally over 50% off, which is kind of like mind blowing. Honestly, I love jewelry so much. I love rings. I love necklaces. So due to copyrighted music, we're going to do a voiceover. Look at these opals, you guys. Honestly, again, opal is my favorite stone. And rose gold is my favorite color of jewelry. And honestly, I was just looking around. They had a lot of promos going on, like half off on the opals, on the rings, on the jewelries. But goddamn, you guys, who's willing to spend 33000 on a diamond ring at Macy's? That, that's just, I don't know. But anyways, yep, it's just simple shopping, looking. We're just window shopping, you know? Until we get that bag in the bank and the bank in the bag, we're going to be window shopping. I totally forgot to film what I ate. But what we ordered was amazing. I got the chilaquiles verdes, babe got the steaks, mother-in-law got the churro waffle, and everything was so good, you guys. Go check out this location. Their service is amazing. Their food is amazing. And honestly, they also have outdoor seating. You guys, I was in Zach's video thanks to Michelle. I'm so sorry, Viv. I'm so sorry, Mackenzie. That's me. Yo, this was like the best experience of my life. Honestly, thank you so much for having me. I am so sorry. Like, I've never had so much fun throwing paint over someone. I'm sorry. I loved it.